Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Fresco and today we will see the main parameters needed in order to create a boring bit. So we are in the CADCAM environment right now. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is switch environment so we can uh, use the navigator here on the center top. If we click on the CADCAM, which is the environment uh, where we currently are, uh, you, you will see uh, that is gonna pop up the navigator. So here we can uh, at this point select tools, which is gonna bring us to the tool library. Remember that this is an environment protected with password. So you should know if you have, uh, if you are working with BSolid, you should know the password in order to create uh, and change uh, things in this environment. So I'm going to enter it. And now we are allowed to uh, create a new tool or uh, modify an existing one. So let's just start from scratch. I'm going to use create a new element. So the first thing we have to specify is the tool name. How do we want to call this tool? I'm working uh, with the metric system, so I'm going to just call it um, 9 mm, 9 millimeter. I'm not going to use 5, 8 uh, just because I already have them, so it will give me an error. So 9 mm and here we can select the tool class. We said we want to create a boring bit, so this is what I will select. Now, there are also templates, as you can see. Otherwise, you can just use the generic one and create uh, your own. We are in the general data tab. So here we can specify the diameter, the working diameter, the working length. And uh, if we open the dimensional data tab, we can also see uh, the maximum length, which is the, in this case probably will be the same, and uh, the maximum uh, um, diameter. So what we can do here? We said we want to create a tool 9 millimeter in diameter, so let's use 9. Working length is going to be uh, the length uh, that is sticking out from the spindle in the boring block. So uh, that uh, is usually around uh, 51, 52 millimeters if you have uh, a 70 millimeter uh, long bit. Then uh, maximum diameter is going to be the same. And uh, uh, maximum length, again, is going to be the same. Now, as you can see, I, I was changing the diameter and the working length, but uh, the graphic was not updating the drawing. So, in that case, I can just click here, adapt drawing to length and the diam diameter. Okay. And here it is. Otherwise, the other option it was to change the morphology of the bit and change the parameters directly from here. Now, what else is really important here? Direction of rotation is not that important for the boring bit because uh, the boring block only has uh, one direction. For the rotation. So uh, if you have left or right uh, tools, uh, 
uh, you have to tool them up properly because uh, usually the spindles have a little groove in case of the left rotation instead for the right rotation so for the clockwise is just a solid spindle i mean you don't see any any sign on any mark or any groove on it with that being said let's move forward and let's uh, fill in these uh, parameters over here so maximum working depth which is the maximum depth this tool can reach I don't know, I'm gonna just use 40, but uh, you have to measure it eventually. Maximum vertical step. So we already said that the maximum working depth is 40. Can this tool reach 40 in one shot? If the answer is yes, we can even uh, put 40 here. Otherwise, we will have, if you want to, you know, force it in multiple steps, we need to do something different. So 10, it means that it will, it can, this tool can reach 40 millimeters of depth only if it uh, goes down 10 millimeters each time. Then uh, maximum horizontal step in this case uh, we can put zero because uh, for uh, a boring bit I mean it can just plunge down so uh, there is no horizontal step for a boring uh, bit then we have cutting thickness which is uh, usually the same for uh, the boring bits and uh, then uh, we will see the differences uh, in a future video and uh, we can uh, then open also this tab advanced because uh, we can check the default for the safety distance so the jig safety is actually the distance expressed in millimeters in this case because i'm using the software in metric from the panel so whenever the machine has to do rapid movements above the panel that is the distance from the panel that uh, the tool will keep usually is uh, a little bit greater for the uniclamp uh, safety because uh, for those of you that don't know what the uniclamp is are just these type of clamps that usually go on pod and rail machines that instead of working and holding the parts with vacuum actually are using compressed air and uh, as you can see they have a top plate that can be squared or rounded and usually this is 15 millimeters tall what that means that if we want to keep the same distance, so the same 10 millimeters above the parts or the clamp in this case, we uh, are supposed to write here 10 millimeters plus 15, which is the plate. So if we want to stay 10 millimeters above the clamps, we need to type 25. But the default is 30, so it's even better, you know. So I would not touch those because the default is, is fine. Then we can also, if uh, this tool can be used for through holes, you can decide to slow down the feed rate for the last I don't know three or four millimeter of the the depth i mean whenever the tool is uh, almost going out from the bottom you can uh, reduce the feed rate here and you can also decide which feed rate it has to use 
So for the general data, it's uh, basically we have seen pretty much all the important things. Now we can uh, go in uh, uses. Here is where eventually you can select if the, this tool can be also used for something else. This is not the case. And speed. So usually the standard feed rate for a boring bit unless it has a really large diameter like uh, the one the 35 millimeter uh, used for uh, kitchen oranges usually uh, for a tool like this the standard parameters uh, are yeah 4000 500 the minimum um, max advance actually I wouldn't go more than 4000 and uh, rotation is uh, 4000 or 6000 but the, keep in mind that the, the max for the boring blocks is, is 6000 and uh, that's it Keep in mind, we always have the standard, minimum, and maximum. So standard, minimum, and maximum, standard, minimum, and maximum, because uh, uh, the standard is always used in case nothing is specified in the program. Otherwise, you can play directly into the program between the minimum and maximum. Maybe because we are working with an harder or softer material, so you need to speed it up or slow it down. You can do it directly from the program. We have seen pretty much everything. I mean, uh, the main parameter for a boring bit. The last thing we have to do is just save and the tool is ready to be tooled up on the machine but this uh, we'll see how to do that eventually in a future video so stay tuned thank you for watching